Hey everybody, Arthur here with another figure review. Today we have Sideshow Collectibles, G.I. Joe Storm Shadow Volume 2. This is a Sideshow figure I've been wanting for a while. I just could not pay those eBay prices. If you look on eBay for this guy, it is crazy expensive. And uh, thanks to another collector, Kevin Momack, awesome dude. And Kevin, if you're watching, I appreciate you so much, man. Um, we double teamed on a sale and he ended up getting Duke, which you guys should have saw the review already. And you probably saw what I got, which was an incomplete Storm Shadow and an incomplete Snake Eyes. But Storm Shadow was missing feet and all that crazy stuff. Um, but thanks to a 1-6 scale Facebook group, uh, before my post got pulled when I was trying to find the parts because I was in panic mode because I can't have a Sideshow collectible figure without feet. Um, and that collector recommended a website from Toy Anxiety. These guys are based in Arizona and they are awesome. I searched down there and they coincidentally had a lot of the pieces for sale. And I'm just going to show you the cost. I got the grip hand, a bunch of hands, and the bow. With shipping, thirty-seven sixty-three. If you look at these bows and all that stuff online, it's uh, insanely expensive. Everybody wants to get like fifty to sixty bucks per piece um, off of these individual pieces. They'll just take a figure and break it up and sell the pieces individually, which I feel is highway robbery. But I am happy that I have him, and he has feet. He actually has shin guards, because he originally didn't have the shin guards. And you can see I'm missing still some parts. But before we dive into the figure itself, I really want to dive into um, some of the accessories. I'm not going to touch stuff on him yet, but I will show you what I have that's not attached. So one of the cool things that I have is a blurry rope. There you go. Here, get my hand in there. But this rope looks great it's basically completely wire so it has that bendy wire in it that you can really bend it to any shape and wrap it around them pretty awesome so he comes with that he comes with a bunch of hands i am missing one of his important hands and that's his sword holding hand and i'm Shedding a tear. You just can't see it. I am upset that I don't have that hand. So if anybody is watching this, they know somebody selling that hand or even the sh arm guards, let me know. Um, but I did get two of these sort of hands. Actually, I guess it's sort of one because the other one that's on him is a little bit different. But these are sculpted beautifully. They're dirtied. He may be a white ninja, but he gets his hands dirty. And I love that little piece of armor on his top of his hand. So awesome. He gets a karate chop hand. He also receives a fist hand. So he can do some uppercuts and things like that. He has a bow so he can pull the arrow back. And that's sculpted really well. Like, the way the fingers are bent and everything. Just looks great. And then one that is my favorite, besides the one he's wearing, which is these uh, throwing star hand. He comes with another classic ninja weapon. Look at that. It looks like a separate piece. And it just looks so good. Look at that chrome. Those are plastic. They're not metal. I thought they were metal. I got excited. I was like, oh, they're metal, but they are plastic, but they're chromed out and look phenomenal. And then when I ordered, you know, you guys saw I ordered a compound bow and these guys straight up just sent it in this type of plastic packaging, which is good. You know, got to have the bow in there. I will start with the one arrow, I only got one arrow, they only had one arrow, which is disappointing, but got the tail of the arrow, and then you got the actual arrowhead. Definitely looks like an arrow an assassin would use, and it's really long. It's like crazy long arrow. Then we get his compound bow. This thing is 
is gorgeous. I almost thought I broke it. But look at all the detail. A little bit of uh, metal sort of showing wear on the, the components of it. Even has the scope. It's got the little fiber optic tips for the sights. Looks like a green, red, and orange, which is awesome. Because if you guys are anybody's a bow hunter, I used to bow hunt when I was younger. And, uh, you know, you can have very little light and those little, those little guys at the end with the fiber optics would definitely capture any little light to make that glow. And that is awesome. You guys can see that functioning right there. But yeah, I mean, this is, it's, it's a bow. It's awesome. A lot of detail. And... Let's dive into the figure. So, slide him closer. He does come with a Cobra Sideshow base. There's a closer look at his dirty little feet. Little ninja shoes. And he's got the shin guards. And just like, look at the, 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 the I want to call it soft goods, whatever you want to call it. The fabric work on these are, are phenomenal. A little stitching and stuff. Different texture of fabric. And then he's got the classic camo from that version too. Even has uh, his gloved hands and stuff. Looks still look good even though he doesn't have the shin or the arm guards. Still looks alright. And then you got the tattoo. And look at the texture on the skin. So nice. The veins and everything. Then we get into his throwing star hand. The throwing star stays station. It's actually attached to the hand. But as you can see, you get a lot of motion out of it. And a lot of detail into that throwing star. Just awesome. You can't have a ninja without a throwing star. And uh, the posability out of these things are insane. Um, you could sit there and, you know... You might want to be like, oh, you can do this type of movement. No, you don't want to really move these guys around like they're Marvel Legends. Even though they have crazy articulation, these are just higher grade uh, figures to where you want to pose them gently and treat them like a baby. That's at least my my point of view of these amazing. I mean, same thing, Sideshow col col Collectibles and uh, Hot Toys. I mean, those figures, you pose them and they look fantastic. As you can see, um, this is these parts right here are not actually part of his costume. It's the stand that's holding them up. He's got the little clasp for his belt. All these clasps work exactly how they're designed, as if they were full-size big versions. It is awesome. It has like a little tack vest right there. I don't know, some sort of weird vest. Um, on the back, I have his backpack right there. I guess a, a sword sheath is supposed to be in there. I don't have it. That's missing as well, his original sword. He does have a pair of tanfas. Let me actually set him down for a second so we can look at that. Because his weapons, we're going to take a closer look at. But look at that. Look at the grips. Looking nice. The wood sculpted in. The paint job on this. It looks like real wood. It's beautiful. And you get two of these. So, and they fit in to the backpack just like so. And one thing that was crazy to me is this guy was incomplete because the collector that was selling them parted him out to make some custom 1-6 scale figure, which to me, I'm like, why would you do that? These are beautiful pieces of art and you're going to taint them. <laughs> um, so he came with this sword, which is the special collector's edition or the Sideshow Collectibles Edition sword. And yet he pieced out the other one. It makes no sense. So I just have it in the backpack. The backpack itself, you know, has functioning Velcro. He's got a zipper right there. Um, these Molly straps all work. Even got the other Tomfa right there. And this all unzips. Inside is usually stuffed with some sort of uh, stuffing. I don't feel like unzipping it. 
but it does unzip and it has some sort of stuffing to give it that fullness, that fluff. Even has a little handle too. So functions just like a, a real backpack, but miniature. Now, one thing besides the figure that's as gorgeous is we got his, I don't know if you want to call it, I guess this would be more of a, this would be a katana. You get this beautiful cobra handle. A little bit dirty around it. Looks awesome. Then you get his hilt, which I'm going to hang with that beautiful Cobra logo. I love that logo. And that's awesome for a handguard. Look at that. Doesn't really do anything much on the bottom, but when you're looking at it this way, it's, it'll stop being blurry. Definitely beautiful little logo. Then the blade is actually metal. So the blade itself has his Rashikagi logo at the bottom, a lotus, and it has a bunch of kanji. Don't know what it says on there, but it goes all the way up the blade. And it looks like it would be a real sharpened blade. A better look at the symbols. And if anybody knows what those symbols are, feel free to comment down below <laughs> what they stand for. But yeah, so it's definitely a really nice sword. Since I don't have a sheath for it, I just sort of tuck it in his backpack like so. Uh, because technically he should have that scabbard on the back, slides into the side. And if he had both swords, you'd have probably the one in the scabbard in this side, and then this probably would be where you'd put the other sword if you wanted him to be toting two swords but that is awesome he has like a little bit of like rubber armor up on the top and that whole vest can be removed you got the little straps on this or the part on the side that can un be undone um and i'm really thinking it might be like a kevlar vest and stuff like that but his face definitely looks awesome as well um this hood is all wire going around a little piece of wire is actually coming out the bottom i gotta rework it to where it looks nice but this is all a wired hood and then you can actually just sort of slide it back to reveal his full head sculpt which we're going to take a really close look at that right now and look look at that it's insane look at the gloss on the eyes size for collectibles Definitely does a heck of a job on the sculpts. How the light's hitting it. It looks like a separate piece of fabric. Because it's definitely a sculpted like separate piece underneath. And how they place the mask on. It looks amazing. And he does get, you know, he can look down. He can look up. He's got that little white neck. But a lot of articulation you can get out of these guys like these guys are some of the best articulation i mean i they should be for the cost and the size of these guys um and they're just just awesome i mean it's it's a really awesome investment like sideshow collectibles hot toys the level of one six scale figures are yes they're an investment a lot of times you can do payment arrangements on them to where before they come out, you're making payments. But this is what you get. Um, of course, this is incomplete, as I stated earlier, but you get this level of quality and detail. It's a, it's an art style that just is either underappreciated or the people that know what it is really appreciate what goes into these. To sculpt this, to get all the fabric to fit like it should and not feel uncomfortable comfortable and weird looking like some of these mezco little figures or some of these other one six scale figures that people try to pump out these guys that i'm i'm just blown away by the quality and i almost forgot to <laughs> almost forgot that with the arrows the arrows can actually store right into his backpack so if he needs to reach back you got a quiver in the back of the backpack which is Awesome. 
So you just sit here and sort of, you know, you basically get him into a pose that you want him to be in and you get all that fun. And I mean, you could take off the clothes and do whatever you really want to do. Like if you don't want the vest on them. You don't want them to look that way. It, you don't have to. And it just looks awesome. I love this figure. I, I'm happy as a dog in shit or a pig in shit, something in shit. And that sums up my figure review of the Sideshow Collectible G.I. Joe Storm Shadow Volume 2. If you guys like what you saw, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. And definitely if you're new to my channel, you should be subscribing because I'm pumping out videos like crazy. And I give my honest review and opinion on them. If they're crap, I'll tell you they're crap. If there's issues, I'm going to tell you there's issues. I'm not sugarcoating stuff for anybody. And uh, I want you guys to have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting. Have a beautiful day.